Okay, so we're at Omics, and then we're going to go over their Jeep collection. Um, we're going to use the field guide inside the Kaiser Willis catalog, and what we're going to do is go through it, and I'm going to show you what I know about these vehicles, and um, when you're out in the field and whatever, you can see if what you're looking at is what it is that you want, or if it's been some kind of modified or something to that effect. Okay, so in the field guide, let's go to M38. Okay, so they made the M38 or the MC from 1950, 1952. This particular one is a 1951 um, uh, Willys M38. The main characteristics of this vehicle are essentially the same thing as the MB and the GPW. They beefed up the transmission. They added a T90 that's all waterproof. They stayed with the two-speed uh, Dana 18 transfer, uh, transfer case. The front end is a Dana 25, and the rear end is a Dana 44. The, the vehicle itself is a little bit heavier, for the most part, than the MB and the GPW. They did a lot of modifications as far as make it more comfortable, more easy to use, bigger, Not things actually. of that nature. Uh, the windshield frame they changed, this is from a 3A windshield, and what it was is the 3As, to make it more comfortable, they put a center vent in here so that you could have some breeze when you're driving around because if you drive wheels, you don't get any air in your face unless you put the windshield down. So they made them so they blocked off so you can't get into them. Uh, the windshield itself, is a one-piece windshield. It has vacuum wipers on it. Right here, as you can see, it comes off the exhaust, exhaust manifold to make your windshield wipers move. The windshield itself is a square framed for the most part. You can see how it goes into here and whatever, and you would loosen this and allow the windshield to lay down onto the, down to the hood. It has the blackout lights. When you're in the field, if you're looking, look for these holes, and it will tell you whether or not this fender is made for uh, M38, if it's original. It's something to look for. Um, it's got its rear view mirror, you can see. Uh, like I'm saying, when you're going out there and looking in the field, you can look for certain things to help you realize if it is what you think it is by where things are drilled into it. It's something to think about. Uh, you can see that they got a bigger fuel tank in this. Uh, it doesn't drop down uh, like the other ones do. It is larger in capacity. Instead of being a 10 gallon tank, this is a 13 and a half, I believe, with a four and a half inch uh, filler. That helps in the field go faster with your jerry cans and whatnot. You can see the handles to help and pick it up and whatnot. Uh, if we move to the front of the vehicle. Some of the good stuff on this, uh, you can tell that, you know, it's not an MB because it only has seven slats. Everything that is not MB has seven slats. Uh, it has the wire guards. It's one of the coolest things about these vehicles. One of the neat things they made about it so you could have uh, quick engine pulls and whatnot is they made this hinge right here. Uh, they did this with the M38s and then with the MD with the M38A1. Uh, for the first couple of years, they put these on there and then discontinued it. So that's, that's kind of a neat thing if you can find that. Uh, these are waterproof headlights. So they're stuck inside these uh, so they can go underwater and whatnot. An, an interesting thing that you can tell right here these are hooks so when they were taking them across the seas and whatnot they could take it and these were tie down hooks so this is something to look for as well uh, when you're uh, out in the field the uh the steering comes off the top of the front cross member uh, that's another thing that differentiates this from an mb or gpw they would be on the actual housing of the front axle there's one battery so in here and one battery in here which we'll take a look at here real quick for the most part, they stayed fairly consistent. This is essentially just a 3A that's a little bit beefier and has some more stuff into it to uh, make it more military uh, savvy. Okay, so you can see it's the 134 L head Go Devil motor. Okay, it still has the WO carburetor. Uh, this is where your oil bath's at. Uh, this is oil filter, so we add your oil. The distributor uh, in these vehicles is made to be waterproof, so it's a tight fit as far as it's closed. You're not going to get any water in there for water forwarding. The generator, same thing. You can see the uh, auto light uh, voltage regulator and all that kind of stuff down there. This is where the other battery is going to contain inside this. Let's see if it's in here. Yep, see, there goes another battery. So that those two add up to the 24 volt system. Uh, it's your radiator, of course. Okay. So, okay, so this right here is the engine uh, 
pull. So you just leave this on here and you hook up your lift or your cherry picker with this and it'll pull up the motor without transmission it'll stay level. If you hook it on this one you can pull the motor and transmission and it'll stay level. So that's something to, to keep in mind when you go in to do something to that effect. Okay, well you can see where your steering box is going to be down in here, most of your electric, your exhaust and fuel manifolds. Uh, you can see that your fuel pump down here each other. is a nice big. This is all original kind of stuff. You can see that back here too. Um, these are most of the military have this feature added to them. So this whole electrical thing is made to go underwater. That's why one of the coolest things about this vehicle. Uh, you can see where it's cut out of the hood right here. This is for the snorkel to come up through. So what it would do is you'd pop this off and you'd hook your snorkel up to it and it would run. I'm going to show this real quick. It would run out of here and then they would make an attachment and it would come upside right here. So uh, what it would be is be the exhaust that's in the back. Uh, it's in the back behind the passenger seat in the, in the very rear, unlike the MB and GPW, which is right here. So what it would do is you would have the snorkel come up, and as long as this part and your tailpipe don't go underwater, this, this vehicle will just keep going. That's one of the coolest things about this. Visually, I think it looks cool too. Let's come around here. All right, one of the other main features about this vehicle uh, is the Pioneer tools. The indentations, they, they kept that from the MB and GPW, and what they did is they just put, put them on the passenger side. So one of the main things you can look for is you can see the indentions for them. Uh, if it doesn't have the indentions, and they say it's an M38, you can always look for body work to see where it's been uh, bonded over, or cleaned up, or whatever. Uh, you can also look for these drill marks to hold the thing on there to see if those are still there and they've just been covered up. Uh, you can see it's got the bow top on it. Uh, it stays pretty standard as far as the rest of them go. Uh, not too much more, just the reflectors. This is where the, carrier, the spare tire would normally go, and you can feel underneath where it sits on the actual uh, uh, channels that are in there. The rear tires mounted on the back. This one, uh, because this was a 3A, they didn't want to go and take the tailgate out because the tailgate's a really good function. So what they did is they actually put the tailgate in there and then they bolted it so it stays shut. So this one is one of the only military ones that has an actual tailgate. The rest of them do not. You can see that the seat in the back is a little bit higher. Like an MB, it would go to about here, roughly. So it's about three, four inches taller, so that you have a little more support when you're riding. So okay, so right here is your tool compartment. That's pretty nice. Most of these that you're going to find out in the field are rotten through. Uh, it's pretty rare that you're going to get one that hasn't been rusted through because most people just don't keep up with them. Uh, oh, I messed that up. Unlock it. Uh, one of the big dis biggest differences between this tub and the MB tub is that the toolbox in the MB tub and GPW tub have a toolbox in the rear uh, wheel housings. They moved it when they did the two A's to this front compartment right here, which also changed the way where the machine gun is actually mounted because it's mounted in the same spot except for the MB and GPW. It's got a big curve right here where it would sit down on top of it. They just moved that out the way and under the frame is still the same kind of mounting plate. But that's what, where that would go. Okay, okay so the rear of the vehicle, uh, they added the jerry cans. It has bumperettes. You can see it still has the panel hook. That was something else. This is where the antenna is going to be mounted. It has a 24 volt plug right here. That's for your trailer, you know, whatever else you want to hook up to it. It has the blackout lights, the reflector. Uh, you can see where all the footman loops are on these. There's a bunch of them all over the place for tie downs. Your jerry can, jerry can holder. It has tailgate, like I said, behind there. And it's the same kind of uh, rear spare tire mount. All right, let's get inside this bad boy. Okay, so. Let's see, okay, so it has the vacuum uh, hoses here that go to your windshield wipers. Now they are manual and they are vacuum. I can't turn the vacuum on because the car's not started right now because the Jeep's not started. Uh, so you have two, so when you're driving you don't have to do this number. Okay, the steering wheel is a little bit different than the MB and GPW as in there's usually a steel bar here with uh, like a thin uh, hard plastic that goes around it. Uh, the nut's still the kind of same thing. It does not hidden like the other ones are for your a horn button. systems that go down in here. Uh, you uh, between 1951 and 52, they changed that. That does uh, help you figure out if it is a 51 or 52 if you can't get to the serial numbers or find out through uh, other means. The, these are all your gauges and whatnot. Uh, 
These are pretty hard to come by with originals, so if you have them and you can clean them up, do that. Um, naturally, you got your blackout lights and all the controls and your parking brakes over here, throttle and, and um, choke and whatnot. Okay, so this is where the T90 transmission comes in. Like the MV, you can see how this uh, sticks up. Okay, so the MV was flat, remember, so it didn't have this big hump. That's the, one of the biggest differences between the tubs. Uh, it does have a lot of access panels, so that makes it a lot easier to work on when you're uh, in the field and whatnot. Uh, it has a Dana 18 transfer case. The transfer case uh, is up is out of four-wheel drive, down is in four-wheel drive, all the way up is low, all the way down is high. So that's your range of gears inside the M38. Most everything else is about the same throughout the, the CJ models. Whew. Okay, they are a little more comfortable. Uh, the seats are a little more comfortable. They're bigger. They got more padding on them and whatnot. They do sit back just a little bit, and that's something they changed in the 3As because the, the 2As were more of the farm ag Jeep, so they weren't built for comfort. Um, that's about it on this vehicle. It's, it's a really nice Jeep. It's a collector's item. They'd only made them for two years, so I think they made something like 60000 or something to that effect. It wasn't that many. So... At a collection, this is one of the higher collectible ones because it is a military Jeep and because they didn't make too many of them. So if you're going to have a vehicle that you'd like to restore and keep it in your family forever, this is one of my favorite picks. It doesn't go very fast. It's actually one of the slower Jeeps because it is heavier with the smaller motor. They added a lot to it. But overall, it's a, it's a very cool Jeep.